And welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called activated charcoal, and activated charcoal has a few brand names, but the most common ones that I have seen have been Actidose and Liquichar. It falls under the class of adsorbents and antidotes. Your mechanism of action is going to be that it adsorbs to some drugs and poisons within the GI tract. Your indications will be certain poisonings or overdoses in alert patients. As always, before we get into the dose of this medication, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be one gram per kilogram. It'll be given orally and it's also the same for pediatric patients. The contraindications of this medication are comatose patients, the ingestion of corrosives, petroleum distillates, and caustics, and also GI obstruction. So this also kind of falls into, say your patient has abdominal pain from an unknown source and you are suspecting it possibly could be a GI obstruction from the symptoms and the signs that have been described to you, this may be something that will steer you away from using activated charcoal. Your adverse reactions are going to be diarrhea, vomiting, black stools, and GI obstructions. How it's supplied. It is supplied in an oral suspension 15 and 25 gram tubes. Okay, a few side notes about activated charcoal. Be sure to administer it within two hours of ingestion. Anything over this, you run the risk of it already starting to go through the digestive process. Number Number two, make sure that the patient is always awake and alert enough to protect their own airway. I kind of think of it sort of similar to oral glucose. You know, we don't give oral glucose if the patient is not alert enough to follow commands. So same thing with activated charcoal. One of the main reasons is that if activated charcoal is aspirated, it can cause a fatal form of pneumonitis. Also, this is just something to be aware of. Milk products decrease effectiveness. And be cautious and call for medical control in cases of a acetaminophen overdoses because the activated charcoal can interfere with the antidote of a Tylenol overdose or an acetaminophen overdose. And I believe that antidote is called in acetylcysteine Anyway, guys, as always, please remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye.